an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Kalkine in Sydney, Australia. Australian shares are likely to open higher this morning. That's tracking Wall Street overnight with positive US economic data, offering some respite from worries about the impact of a tighter monetary policy. Now the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.5% gain. The benchmark fell yesterday 1.1%. Looking to business news from this morning now. Buy now, pay later. Sezzle report total income for the fourth quarter of 2022 and that it rose 16.2% year on year to a record high of 38.3 million US dollars. That's a 56.2 million AUD. That's from 32.9 million dollars and represented 8.5% of underlying merchant sales. Total income improved year on year due to the company's initiatives such as Sezzle Premium. Weekly volume through Sezzle's marketplace averaged 29% of total volume per week during the quarter compared to 11% in the prior year's fourth quarter. PointsBed reports 28% growth in the half year group revenue and that was anchored by 81% increase in US net win and also strong iGaming performance. Now iGaming represents 31% of North American net win. Total turnover in Australia was $1.55 billion and that was up 14%. Managing Director and Group CEO Sam Swannell says, in the United States, that's the largest and fastest growing online betting market in the world. We are the seventh largest online operator out of a field of over 60 licensed online operators. On top of that, their app is independently ranked as top three in the U.S. market. Cement company Adbri has appointed Mark Owen to the role of Chief Executive Officer. Adbri Chairman Raymond Barrow says Mark has held the position of Interim CEO from the 17th of October last year and has demonstrated an ability to quickly understand the complexities of their business. He's passionate about driving improvement and they appreciate his willingness to extend his term and lead the Adbri team to deliver key drivers to future success. He is a former Chief Commercial Officer at Oz Minerals. Well, it's time for a short break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Hello and welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. Now the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 0.2%, the S&P 500 was up 0.3% and the Nasdaq rose 0.6%. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.7%. Frankfurt gained 1.1%, while Paris closed 1.5% higher. And in Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei fell 0.1%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng lost 0.3%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.3% lower. Brent crude, meanwhile, lost 1.6% to $81.80 US cents a barrel. Spot gold rose up 0.4% to 1,817 US dollars an ounce. Well, that's all for our ASX at Breakfast report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.